Hey guys, welcome back to map 13 of Let's Play Doom 2. This is downtown. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and what are we doing? We're waking everybody the hell up! And yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a intense beginning ride here. How did I miss you? Alright, well, that's done. Sweet. We're still alive. Berserker pack to the rescue. Now, we're going to go into this building first. Now that I've had a stellar start. So we're going to switch over to the fist now, and we're going to punch us some imps since we have a berserker pack. Come on, bring it. Yeah, that's right. Hop over here, pick up the health and ammo. Oh, yes, gibbed imp. Jibbed, excuse me. First secret's behind that wall in here. Your second secret, flip that switch once you lower those crates, is up here. And with that, the arachnotrons are dead except for the one down there. And that leaves all the cacodemons dead, I believe, for now. You see that imp walking up there in that cage up there? He's dead. And I don't know why that lost soul was just standing there, but whatever. It makes it easier for me. This map is a little bit annoying. I mean, yeah, it's actually intricate, which is amazing for Sandy Peterson, who made this map. Well, I wouldn't say it's intricate. It's more intricate than what a lot of Doom 2 holds, but whatever. Ah, yes. Down the hole you go, Imp. Secret number three. And, yeah, it's in there. But you want to drop down this one. And as soon as you open that door, start firing. Make you buy or not friendly. That could have been disastrous. Grab the blue key, but don't go in those teleporters. They're not worth it. I don't even know where they go, because that's how much I care. Grab the backpack, and now... If you're low on health like I am, make sure you have a big gun ready. Open that. And look, they die. They are the dead now. Yeah, by the way, this in here is a secret. So, And I missed the Arachnatron because I thought it was a little bit further over. Or did I? I don't know. Grab the plasma gun. Make sure you do it quickly because you can die. Ah, <laughs> that was beautiful. Alright, since we have the blue key, let's run up here and grab this secret and get it out of the way. Imps down. Alright, so they're all down. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to run back here and take care of 
Well, I thought I was... Alright. We're going to take care of this building here. Or the remainder of it, rather. Alright, now. To move on with the map and get another secret, kind of. You can run around and grab all this if you want. Run into this teleporter. Doesn't matter what side you run in on it from. I fell off. That's not good. And you see the cacodemon in there. Now from up here, you have a great vantage point of this last imp in the side of the building. So, carefully drop down and you'll pick up a BFG. Now we're going to go back to the teleporter for a third time, even though it should only take two trips. And you're going to run backwards into the next blue door. Grab the invulnerability sphere. Flip that switch and run up on here for the chainsaw, which is a secret. And of course, you know, we get medikits here. Now, really, what I should be doing is I should have taken it to that other area there, so. Either way, we're going to go to another secret back here. There it is. Just press on the wall until you find it. So, yeah, in here we get a mega armor and another secret. So, that's enough of that. We have the red door, so we can come in here and punch these guys out. Hey! Yeah, you have to wait on that stupid lift. The Berserk Pack here is actually kind of nice to have, so. And everything's dead. Over there is a box of shells, and over there is the yellow key. So we're going to run, grab the yellow key. Guess what? We could finish the level if we wanted to, but let's not. We still have a few enemies left to kill. Now, interesting note. Open this door. You can't open this one, but you can from the other side. Well, that was a complete waste. That's what I get for trying to be cool. I waste BFG. Tisk tisk. Over here's another secret, by the way. Alright, last area. And we're going to grab this last invulnerability for it. Just because I have yet to grab it in any of the other attempts. Why not? Grab the rocket launcher and just start punching them out. And, of course, you know, make sure you get the rockets in this room. And I believe that's it of this map. That would be everything. Well, the only thing growling is lost souls, so we're going to run to the exit. Nine ten for downtown. Yeah, this is the biggest map I've done yet, at least as far as the complexity, well, in my opinion. And it's the most well-known, I guess you could say, city-themed map. It was sort of the granddaddy or the predecessor to amazing maps like Plutonia, um... Map 29, Odyssey of Noises. I had to remember what it was called. Eight secrets. Some of them are pretty interesting to try and get a hold of. Some of them are pretty stupid. Um, there's a few enemies you can easily miss over if you're trying to kill everything. And yes, I realized that I did take my time, but I wanted to make sure everything was dead. And I pray to God that the mouse cursor isn't in the middle of the screen again for whatever reason, but I don't care. 
interesting start to the map. Um, I mean, you have four revenants in one on, on the edge of the one building. Arachnatrons roaming downtown, uh, ground level. Cacodemons floating around. Imps up in to the tops of buildings. But that's it of downtown. So we'll continue at the inmost dens. Let's go ahead and equip the uh, shotgun there. But we'll see you at inmost dens, map 14. I'm Ultima Mantoid. Until then, take care and have fun.